Okay, friends. In today's video, I'm going to take you down to the guest room and you can help me get it ready. Well, you can watch while I do it. Isn't that nice? You can supervise. Okay, so we did have steps to... I'll try and put some pictures before I go down. I sort this out, okay? Right, so hopefully I added pictures. So here's the patio. This was wooden before. Uh, decking, wooden decking. Russ doesn't like that because it rots easily and it needs a lot of work and repair. But we actually had someone come and take it away and they've had it. It's friends of ours. They've made use of that at their property. So that is really, really good. And... Um, we have got the tiles that you can see. We spent a long time trying to source tiles um, for on here, what we wanted. And um, we actually wanted a resin floor. But resin is quite new to you at the moment um, for outside flooring. A lot of people have now are now having resin driveways. But... Um, we ummed and ahmed and ummed and ahmed, and I'm so glad we went with these tiles. These tiles are squishy. Excuse my um my gardening shoes, but they are. They're squishy. These tiles. They use them. I t I've said this before in other parts of my video. They use them in a school playgrounds um, and in playgrounds for children. Um. So we've had them. They are so warm. They go down. There is a slope that goes down. I think if you can see this, makes a slight slope here. And this is where the drain is. There's a drain here for the drainage. And then all the way along the side of the house. There is a drain. Uh, it was e really easy to fit. I just I was watch I was here watching them. And I think I probably was probably in part of one of my videos. Um, and I'm filming this on Wednesday, the 18th of August, I think. Yes. Millie can't see. She's trying to find her ball. She can't see. Bless her. They're lovely. They're really soft. They're, they stay nice and warm. They don't hold on to the rain. So there we go. Anyway, let's go down these steps. Now, I've not been in this room since William left, so I don't know what we're, what we're going to find it like. My husband went in, actually mopped it, cleaned it, changed the bedding. So there we go. This is resin, this bit here. This is a resin floor. And um, one thing I found with it is it, it with these shoes on, when it's wet, it can be a little bit slippery. So I'm glad we, did, we didn't have it out in our back. But that was our patio. But it's very good. Very, very good for um, keeping it clean. And uh, there we go. Go up the steps. So Russ is away. Um, so he did mow the lawn before he went away, but it is growing a bit. But patchy, it's quite patchy. So, um, but the building work, the builders had all of their stuff all along here. So I'm not surprised it's patchy. And uh, there's a gate, so you can park it side of this room. And at the front, so we've got two areas for parking. And... Uh, 
the side gate is always locked. It's all secure. And um, and I am really want, I was talking to Russ about um, having a fairy garden here because she now is having a fairy garden built and I'm really keen to see how hers comes along um, to give me some ideas for mine. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to see if I've got any photos of this room before I go in with you. So, I don't, I don't know in here where the alarm is to switch it off quick enough. Okay, so I'll be looking around for a minute. Let me take the key out then because I need the fall. There we go. Oh, I see it. Uh oh. It's going to alert Ross while he's away. Alert Ross while we're on his way. There we go. Anyway, let's so let's walk in. We'll keep these two doors open because um, it can get m a bit musty. I'll tell you for why. I'll just shut those doors up a little bit, and then I'll talk to you about it. Doesn't it smell? It doesn't smell at all. It's perfectly fine. Anyway, so here we go. Um, yeah, the, when the people who, um, before us converted this, they didn't put down, um, a special lining, uh, lining that you need to put down to put flooring on top to enable the floor to breathe. I think it's just pure concrete. I, uh, that's my understanding of it. And we were getting a lot of damp over in that corner. Because in that corner outside there was um, some stat some like things against the wall that had plants and all that in, and the water would collect in it. Well, we've we've taken them away so it can breathe now. So it's a long time to come up with something that we could put on the floor to help it to breathe. We were actually going to paint the floor at one point, but um, no, it, we don't need to, and it's lovely. Anyway, Grumpy made the bed, okay? He took all the bedding off and then he kept, when he put it in the wash, as is after his son was here. He put it in the wash and then we knew he knew my Kerry was coming. So he put it all back on the bed for me. Um, so it's not as like, oh, I would like it to look nice. He's just quickly made it and left. This is exactly how it, how it is. I, I haven't even been in here. So I bought a few things. Let me just pan around and show you. These are our old carver chairs. These are our carver chairs from upstairs that we don't need. So we thought we'd put them down here. But what I'm going to do is put something over the back because if you push it backwards, it will run. It will push against the paint and make marks. Well, you don't really want to do that. It's a lovely, easy to clean tiled floor. And then we've got. We've got a coffee maker in here and various various pods and things for it, a little bin. And I've just got in my bag some mugs to go in there. Um, and I think I put a Galaxy chocolate in there. But we haven't got a little kettle, so they'll have to make that upstairs. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you the bed how Ross left it. <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, no, that is a... There's a pillow. No, I don't know. Maybe we've only got three pillows. I don't know. I don't know. But there is meant to be a runner. Ross probably hid the runner in the drawer. <laughs> I'm even amazed that he made the bed. So I've got a runner somewhere put on the bottom. Just so it looks nice when they come. At least he made the bed, ladies, because he's never, ever changed the bed by himself in our in our bed. So I have got to give him some, like, credit. Anyway, yeah, so I, I think you might have been with me at some point, my regular viewers who watch. You might have been with me at some point when we um, got the bedding. We got the bedding in the range. And um, because we will have different people sleeping here, like girls and boys, and not everybody likes flowers like me, 
this is the, the this is sort of a theme that I came up with. Um, I was going to put some greenery. I think maybe it could do a splash of color, but like a color like um, like a like green. That's what I'm thinking. Um, the sign up there doesn't go with the bed. I know, but I just love it. It says "Be our guest," and I just thought that was really sweet. We keep the curtains closed just because it's on the ground floor. We didn't get any um, blinds for down here. We just bought curtains. So literally just because it's on the ground floor. It's quite warm in here, actually. Wowzers. And this table, gosh, this table is about 40 years old. Russ's dad made this little table. So we, it doesn't go, it doesn't go, I know, but it's sentimental value for us and we will be keeping that. <laughs> and then I bought this to try and like tie in and break up this wall here a little bit. I think it's nice. I think it's nice, clean lines. You've got somewhere you can put your bag. Um... If you want to hang something up, that was the only thing I was saying to Russ. We need something. If we've got someone that wants to hang something up, well, of course, they can hang it up in-house because we will never, we will never not be, it will only be our family and friends that are staying here. We never do Airbnb or anything. So this is the cupboard. This is the cupboard. And we didn't put anything on the floor. The reason we haven't covered the floor is so it can breathe. This is what it is. I think it's something to do with what's under the concrete. I'm sure it's something to do with what's under the concrete. So we, it's to allow this place to breathe. So we do have, um, we have a little hoover in here. We have cleaning products. We do have an extra pull-out bed there. Extra little table. And the mop. So we keep all that in there. We keep the door open. But I'll close it for the video. And then I've brought some towels in here for the for the bathroom. So I've kept the, the different... I've just kept a dark grey down here. Just because I know that they belong down, down here. If that makes sense. Then I... You know, they just go with the down here colour scheme. And we know they're not the same as ours. They're not ours. I'll uh, just shut the toilet because, you know, what men are like. Put the toilet up. Okay, here's the bathroom. See, it's the same as ours. Same as ours, except it's got the little sinks, which I don't like if you're in the house all the time. Which is why I have the sink. I wanted, like, shelving on the sink area in our bathroom because we're using it all the time. This is just a um, one that's not used very often. Just the, exactly the same shower as we got. So this is exactly the same. It's another wet, just another wet room, just another shower room. And with a heated towel, I can take that one up now, with a heated towel. So we have this one down here for when we have Boyo to stay. Yeah, that's been washed and put back. Well done, Russ. And I'll just put the grey ones up. So, be our guest. <laughs> so that's our guest. Guest room on suite. And Russ has got exactly the same in his garage. Oh, and there are, there are hanging hooks there. I'm just going to put the towels up. So this is a nice heated towel rail. Heated towel rails are good, a good way of heating your property because you can leave this, you can leave the door open, and it also heats heats your room a little bit. Okay. So I got um, one bath sheet, which is huge, and one bath towel, and. My expectation for anybody staying here is that they will change, get, get everything off the bedding when they're done. Because I don't want to be changing bedding because that's part of one of my like things that I can't do. 
I think I would even struggle to sleep in this bed. I have such a bad, bad problem. Sorry about the fan. I could get out of the bathroom, couldn't I, really? <laughs> I could get out of the bathroom at all, Caroline. I have such a problem with staying in places and other people's beds and things like that. Yes, even in my own house. So, um, there we go. That's the towels up already for my daughter. Um, we, need to do the we need to do the cups. There we go. Don't worry about my fingers being in the cups. It's only my daughter and our partner. And I picked this up. She likes Galaxy, so I got her these. this hot chocolate galaxy it's two sachets i don't know if she'll like it she's not always a lover of hot chocolates but there we go and two cups the gray cups belong down here oh we do have spoons but i'll leave that for them and then i'll make the bed properly now and um, this is the uh cotton dust sheet that i want it to so what i want to do so when kerry goes Um, she'll strip the bed, the towels, that's if they use them, they might bring their own. She'll strip the bed and bring it up and then I'll wash it and then I'm going to put it back in the drawers and then I'm going to cover the bed in this cotton dust sheet because I've always had to be careful with Kerry because she suffers with asthma. So I have always, 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 ever since she was a baby, had to be really careful of dust around her. So it's made me more think about things like that more. So I will be covering the bed with the dust sheet or her her boyfriend will probably do that for me. Um, this was, so the bed was mine and Russ's old bed. It's a five foot bed. No, yes, it is five foot. So it's classed as a king size. It's got, um, uh, the mattress on it is from Next, and it's called a, 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 I don't know, I can't remember, something like a holiday mattress, something like that. A mattress that's not used a lot, occasional mattress of that, I don't know. But anyway, we got that, and then me, with the way that I am about things, I actually got a topper as well to go on it. So I'll show you. So I'm going to make the bed in a minute. So here's the mattress. It's from Next. And then I got this um, Silent Night topper to go over the top of it. Then it's got a mattress protector. And the reason I did that is because one makes might make it a little bit softer. But I can put the mattress topper, can go in the washing machine... Even if I have to take it up to a laundrette because it won't fit my wash my washing machine, but I'm pretty sure it will. And so I can wash that. And it's cheaper to replace than having to replace another mattress, if that makes sense, you know? Because I couldn't imagine having a mattress where people sleep on it, sleep on it, sleep on it. Oh, it just doesn't, for me, it doesn't feel right. And I don't want other people to do that. I hope that makes sense. And then it's got a... A sheet protector. So then we have this one. This is a mattress protector. So this goes in the washing machine. Then the sheet. Then the duvet. And in fact, I actually think I bought... The sheet is too big, I think, if I remember. Or the duvet cover is too big. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's make it now. I have a lot to do. Grumpy did a great job. At least now I know he can make a bed. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting the bed to be made. Yeah, we got three pillows. Does anybody? I always um, roll down the top of my bed as well, so it can like breathe. The sheet can breathe. It feels lovely. It really does feel like a nice bed to lie on. 
And in fact, the builder came in and he was, and he said, wow, it looks so good in there. Where, um, he said, we've just done our spare room and I don't like, I don't like the, um, the bedding the wife has chose. I suspect it's a little bit girly because I know Russell's exactly the same. And, um, that's exactly the same. I think I've told you that before in our bedroom. Russ is like, look, you could have whatever you want, but I don't want pink. I don't want flowers and stuff. And that's why we have like really nice curtains. And I've been getting plain duvet covers. But I guess if I put this down here, this covers up the bed a little bit, doesn't it? It covers up the thing. I don't know. Kind of like it. Oh, you can't see. Kind of like goes with the currents, this like velveteen thing. When I bought the bedding, I really wasn't, I felt really awful and I didn't really want to walk very far. I went into one shop and I was just like, right, that's it. I'm buying whatever's in here that will fit it. And that is it. Maybe I won't pull this down too far. Just turn it over a little bit. It looks really nice. I really like it. It's very, very soft, the duvet cover as well. Very, very soft. Yeah, no, what I think I've done is I've got the, the um, actual... Um, something. Duvet on here is too small. I bought a smaller duvet. That's why he was saying about it. Uh, there we go. I just think we don't need lots of pillows and all that because, you know, <laughs> I don't want it all collecting dust. What do you think, guys? I'm so happy with how it turned out. And it's been booked for Christmas. It's been booked for Christmas by my eldest daughter and her wife. So they're definitely staying here at Christmas. <laughs> That'd be exciting because I'll get some Christmas bedding and put on. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm pleased with it, yep. Oh, let's just curtain back up. Got to clean the windows. Got to clean the windows, that's for sure. Trying to find a window cleaner now. For this area. <laughs> there we go. I won't put the cotton, I won't put the dust sheet on now because this is now Wednesday and then they'll be here I think Friday. There we go. Even have a nice little view. I did think about getting a chair just to put outside here so it's outside if they want. I don't know, what do you think? Right, let me know your thoughts. This is the last room to be done because this is where the builders... Oh, let's put that dust sheet in the drawer. Because this is where the builders kept all their stuff. This was the last room we did. Well, apart from Hillside. <clears throat> but that doesn't count. And then we've got the recessed floor again with the um, to wipe your feet on. But it's great having tiles because it means it can be easily cleaned. And there we go. So, thank you very much everybody for watching this video. And um, just enjoying seeing mine and Russ's delight at being truly blessed with a bungalow and every aspect of the, of it that's come along. I've had no problems. It's been fab. Oh, if you're wondering, that box up there, Russ, made, Russ covered it. He made the cover and everything. That's um, got the electrical stuff in it for the, for the whole bungalow, for the bungalow. And then all the other electrics for the underfloor heating and stuff is here. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.